Let's talk about gray rock and what that means and what it doesn't mean. What is gray rock and what isn't gray rock? Let's talk about that and how gray rock can help you what its purpose is, what its function is, and how sometimes it's not actually gray rock. My name is Lise Colucci and I am here to help you understand, recover, and transform your life after narcissism has affected it. Okay, so gray rock. Gray rock is becoming boring in response. Being like a gray rock toward any manipulation, any toxic behavior that's coming your way, any gaslighting especially, right? Projecting, that type of thing from a narcissistic person or really from anyone, okay? As an example, when a narcissist say they're texting you and they give you a whole lot of word salad, meaning they go on and on and on and on describing situations that make themselves look really great when in fact they've done something really awful, right? And they are describing a situation that makes you look bad, them look good. Basically, they're creating argument. They're pitting you. They're trying to get you to react. And then they start giving verbal attacks in, or they start giving written attacks like you do this and you do that and you're wrong here and I don't know what's wrong with you and blah, blah, blah. And you know, maybe name calling, maybe cussing, that kind of thing. And then they say something like, are you going to step up this time? Are you going to do it right? And so there's that demand, right? So when a narcissist is behaving narcissistically, and the impulse would be defend yourself, talk about the situation, try and get them to see your point of view, try and make it so that you're okay, so that you will feel okay in the situation and you start engaging in it, okay? Well, that's what normally happens. People engage in the toxic behavior with the narcissist as a form of self-defense and as a form of self-protection, right? and then it escalates. So gray rock would be instead to say, oh, okay, to all of the nonsense and simply answer the question. Yes, I will redo the situation later today, period. That's gray rock. Simple, to the point, no accusations, nothing back, no lashing out, no reply to the toxic behavior. To add one more tool here, yellow rock would be to do that in a polite way, right? I hear you, it sounds like you're frustrated. I will absolutely be re redoing that thing later today, period. Different situations require different approaches. Both of those approaches diffuse the toxic behavior that the narcissist is doing. Both of those answers end the argument, okay? It's a giant stop sign without saying stop. Here's the thing. If you try and approach a narcissist by saying, stop, don't talk to me like that. I will not be spoken to in, with those words. I am the person that deserves respect. Boundary, 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 boundary. What is that narcissist going to do? They're going to shove those boundaries out of the way and come after you with more attack. Okay, so gray rock is a way to pretty much end it quicker and walk away from it. It is not satisfying, okay? It is not the feeling of, ah, I want up on them. Gray rock can be used in other situations. Say you call a narcissist on their behavior in a polite way. Say you try and approach them in a healthy way by saying something like, like setting a boundary. No, I cannot see you. I feel too hurt when I'm around you. And I've told you enough times and I haven't seen any change, period, okay? And then the narcissist comes back trying to manipulate you back in, trying to pull you back to the situation. Oh, I didn't know. Well, I was trying. I try really hard. Are you telling me my efforts aren't very good? Well, blah, blah, blah. So a vulnerable narcissist may not be attacking you. They may be using soft and alluring, future faking promises of how much they're trying to get better. And you know better, okay, because this is the third, fourth, fifth time you've gone through this. So gray rock in that situation would be maintaining your boundary. No, I don't want to see you, okay, in a very short, brief, quiet way. Boring. I hear all that. I still don't want to see you. Instead of answering to every single point the narcissist does. What they do when they are vulnerable covert narcissists or more sociopathic or psychopathic narcissists is they will compile uh, this list of questions you need to answer in order to keep the engagement going. 
So gray rock would be ignore all that and just stick with your boundary. There are so many examples of gray rocking I could give here. And if you have a question about how to gray rock, about how to apply it to your situation, you know, you can always send me an email. You can always leave a comment in the main comment section of any video, or there is group coaching and coaching available if you really need one-on-one -on -one discussion about how to go about doing this in your life, okay? Or anything really that relates to narcissistic abuse. Okay, so, okay, so let's come back to the topic. And this is really important. This is what I'm seeing often is people are using what they're calling gray rock to one up the narcissist. They're using a sarcastic, passive aggressive tone to win the situation. That is escalating. That is not de-escalating. The point of gray rock is to de-escalate the situation for your safety, for your well-being, to get you away from that toxic situation as fast as you can. We're not trying to win. There is no win with a narcissist. All there is is the narcissist's point of view in the narcissist's world, okay? So if you, you maybe you have a really, you know, quick tongue and a really quick wit and you're able to verbally win with a narcissistic person. All you're doing is engaging. How do you feel afterward? Do you feel frustrated? Do you feel tight? Do you feel tense? Do you feel like a rush of energy, but it's kind of negative at the same time? So when you have to be low contact with a narcissist, and especially when you're co-parenting, parallel parenting with a narcissist, and you need to keep that communication even for the sake of the child, right? And for the sake of them not sabotaging anything about you with the child. In other words, it's very dangerous, slippery slope when you are parallel parenting because that toxic narcissistic person could be alienating you from your child at any second. They could be creating situations of tension between you and your child or fear in your child. All kinds of things can be going on. So the point is diffuse, end it right? And not engage and not let it get to you and not hurt you. The other thing is when you're in low contact like that, there's constant exposure to the toxic person. So I've been seeing a lot of suggestions of what they are calling gray rock, which is really just passive aggressive attacks toward the narcissist back. If a narcissistic person isn't listening and then they word salad, someone saying, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. That is not really gray rock. That's passive aggressive. Okay. A gray rock answer would be, okay, acknowledgement. Acknowledgement in the fewest words you possibly can. Because otherwise, you're baiting them back toward more conversation. Even if you don't reply, needing to have the last word is baiting the narcissist. Narcissistic people always need the last word. Let them have their stupid last word. It means nothing, okay? It's just proof that they need to be in control. That's all it is. And you don't need that. So let that go. We have to let go of a lot of the desire for communication in order to gray rock. And it's not easy sometimes. And it, it's, it's a skill, okay? And it's an art to be able to gray rock and not have it affect you or have it affect you for a second and then be able to say, oh, I did gray rock really well this time. Okay. I diffused that. I don't need to keep digging at it. I don't need to keep bringing it up. I don't need to re-engage with that toxic person. Is that making sense? If you have questions or ideas about gray rock, let me know in the comments, like I said, and hit the thumbs up, you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.